Hello everybody, I've not seen you for a bit, it's Friday 4th of October and uh, I've not been vlogging because I didn't know whether to mention something or not but people always sort of comment and say at least to keep it real so I'll explain why I've not been uh, vlogging but we've had a bereavement in the family and uh, it's over a week ago now so I can actually talk without crying about it I think uh, and he's, he's a very close, oh, he was a very close person to one of the members of the family but we all had a real soft spot for him anyway and uh, in his mid thirties and it's all very sad and uh, I've just not felt like chatting anyway so I thought I'll, I'll come on and uh, start a vlog anyway I've been doing all sorts of different things um, listing wise but i thought to start today because the people that might be missing it i'll start with some uh, pepper pig so here we are i've kept moving a ikea bag full of toys into the bedroom while i've done the other work and then bring it back and i thought like i thought last week just list the bugger so um obviously i had the um uh, roundabout chairs sent to me um which was lovely so I, i've got that lot there which is not cleaned or anything as yet and i've got this lot here look it's a mega lot i think it's sophie burrows that um said she was looking at peppa pig stuff so whether you bought anything or not sophie i don't know but uh you, i might have messaged you messaged you before this goes out because i'm going to list one on a fixed price and one on an auction i think and then you can decide if you're bothered or not anyway this is brilliant this we've ended up with we've got the house and we've got some furniture in it and daddy pig i can't get him to stand up so he's doing what he does best uh, and he's sitting on the chair uh, and i'm just going to lay all the figures out on this track first so we've got this track i've got a train which is unfortunate but i've got this little carriage uh, which is nice uh, got little queenie pepper or princess pepper in there lots of playground stuff i can't help thing you'd think they design these better wouldn't you because half of them have got missing trees in fact i've got three of these playground things that's um just too far gone um that one's actually got its tree miracle um should we bring that in a bit like that we should the ducks so that's that one um we've got the friction car We've actually got the shopping um, truck in there. We've got a helicopter. We've got a school and some desks. And we've got the roundabout which spins round. And then on the track we've also got a car and uh, one of the small camper vans. So that's that. So I'll just put some lights on. I've just got to uh, put these little fellas out. And uh, making him stand up is um, ow, see, making him stand up the hardest thing. Um, I'm not sitting them all in school yet, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a shot with all the figures together so people can see how many there are. Now, all up a bit. People can see how many there are this way, and then I will take some shots of them playing. Got lots and lots of peppers. I've got a load of peppers that I've not um, not put in this lot as well because got so many. She's got a hat on. Look. Oh come on! You can't do it with one hand. That's it. Here we go. Um, and I'm all right with him. I've got another one of him in. Uh, oops. He's not, he doesn't want to stand up either. You want to stand here? Yeah, you have to lean up. So that's that. Um, shall I leave my dang gazelle up there for a minute? No, I'll put her in. I'll put them all. Put them all here. Get her close up. So she can stand. Stand up. She can stand there. Uh, oh, we've got little George. 
and the little princess one. There we go. So that's one shot of that. One shot like that will do. Uh, and then I'll start from playing. So I'm just coming off for a second. Oh, flash has come on my camera. Uh, felt a bit yucky last few days, so I've not done an awful lot, but I've suddenly decided at 10 o'clock that I ought to um, get these listed, seen as the Christmas. Um, Christmas and uh, Halloween. And we're actually on the 7th of October, so I've just photographed them all. And, um, yeah. That'll be my drafts for listing in the morning. Morning! Well, I actually got these done last night, so that's good. Um, so from doing nothing all day, I ended up listing eight, six of these and two more prints. And uh, this morning I've managed to set the big box up on the hoist that was full of the prints. Uh, the box aren't ready yet. And I've just packaged up a Noah's Ark when I decided to chat with you. Um, and now I've sold a couple of my bracelets, which is good. Uh, one showing us £2 because it were a lady that sent me a message and said, uh, <coughs> can I uh, have the second one for free postage? So I said, yeah, that's no problem. So... I sent her an offer, but not to the three ninety nine off the price. And um, I need skill number B five. B five it should be a butterfly, yeah. And B ten. All the auction lot I put in a separate box, but these were buy it now. Right, it's the second time I'm filming this because I started waffling the first time and thought, right, cut it short. This is the second lot and uh, there's no point saying message me or whatever because I'll have listed this by the time you see this video. But just for the sake of the vlog... Uh, what I'm going to do is try and find the subscriber that said she, went, she was looking at Peppers and see if she's bought anything yet. I just feel like I owe it to her to, to let us know because I put the other one on first and went to message her and it had already gone. So now I'm going to take the photographs and get the draft lined up and tell her it's going on. Um, so everything's here in this one but I've decided it's having a, it's going on for the same price. That one was £45 and like I say it got snapped up. Um, so a couple of differences. This one has got the carry case to keep all the figures in that in. We've got a plush George and a dinosaur helicopter, big wheel, uh, spinning wheel, big tree house, little tree house, school, but school hasn't got a door. Moon buggy, Madame Gazelle, Daddy, but he doesn't stand up. Uh, Mummy, Rabbit, can't remember his name. Loads of peppers, and another couple of friends, and a George, and a caravan with its wing mirrors. Uh, and it's got its seats in, but it's not got a... I'm not sure if the little one's supposed to have a barbecue as well, but it don't. So that's that. Stand up. Yeah, so I think I'd better message you first. The other thing I've done today is I've done my arabesque, which I've done as a multi-listing. Uh, and I realised when I got it out, it's never actually been used you can tell there's no spoon marks or anything in it so that's that so that's the only two i've done today um and then what i'm going to do next once i've cleared this is spinning uh i'm going to get this box out and um, we'll have a look together and see what's in it yeah pound there if you've got armor yeah weird and uh well not weird and wonderful just weird so i'll show you that in a bit Okay, so it's time to start sorting through these orange boxes of um, China. 
and other sundry items so I'm going to prop you up on the tripod and show you some bits I'm going to end up with three piles one will be listing one will be charge shop and one will be complete bin or recycling because uh, it's chipped or cracked or whatever and I have no idea what I'm going to pull out of this lot because it was bought as I said before from the auction uh, unseen at the auction just bought online and then uh, packed up very very quickly at the auction house and now they're all mixed up in lots so I can't even tell you what I paid but it'll be oh, pennies per item so let's get you propped up right the listed pile might not end up getting listed it's just that I will research it and see uh, we have just a collectible porcelain mansell print um, Humpty Dumpty so we'll have a look at him uh, Furnival's Limited English Tapestry uh, nice condition little little jug there I've done all right with jugs before some have sold individually and then some as a job lot so I usually get my money back on the job lots so I'll we'll hang on to that this takes me back this takes me back to grandma's uh, plant Tuscan China but it's got a lot of um, gilding missing on there um, but I might I don't think it's going to be worth anything that one I'll put that in a charity shop uh, jug another Royal Dalton I think this went in uh, a job lot last time something similar to this the little miniature jugs some people collect those no mark on this other than a heart um, and, but it's got crinoline lady uh, cottage scene so so I'll look them up just because I'll be interested and I'll learn from it uh, I knew that I'd got some uh, novelty cruet sets salt and pepper pots um, I've seen these sell for about four or five pound uh, or even two pound or whatever but um, I'll look those up again in a bit that one's lost its um, silver on there but charge shop might be able to do something with them we have a pound coin <laughs> what's date 19 1985 you never know not an expert now this is interesting this is a it's lost some of its paint unfortunately it's got little corks in um, hand painted made in Japan so that little Japanese thing interesting to look up but not really any value in it but I like the looking up. It's got a little top. Lots of packaging we end up with, which is great. Like the bag. Back there for packaging. Falconware. Little cottage scene jug. Cruets. I'll put all cruet sets here and we'll have a look at them in a minute. Um, because of course now they're mixed into three different boxes I need to make sure I've got the other half of these sets do you remember these bunnies more craft design however he's got a broken broken ear so we'll, we'll get rid of him and a horrible little man uh, with damage as well We've got some black wedge wood. I need to look up how to date wedge wood, but because um, I've seen a lid for some black wedge wood in, in another box somewhere, so I'll put that together there. More cruets. All novelty things. We've got bears, we've got ducks, we've got chickens, we've got fish. Um, Looks like creamware 
uh, not if anybody knows what that signature is under there. Don't know. See, that's the thing I find interesting looking those up, but that's got to be done at night then. Don't feel like doing any proper work. Although it is proper work because I'm learning. That's from uh, New Key and it's a candlestick and it's horrible. Uh, another poultry. Royal Park Swan. Might go in a job lot of some sort. Um, cranberry glass. Nothing special. But pretty. So we ended up with a not special pile. Um, little studio pottery jug for my bundle. Teapot, china, china teapot. So somebody might that collects the jugs might collect the teapots, I suppose. Um, what looks like a little glass ginger jar. More cruets, speckled hen, mortlocks, established 1774. I mean, you just never know with these things. I suppose you're experts. If you, well, I don't suppose you'd be watching if you're an expert, but you'll be going, "That's a sewing so." Got a jug here or something in it. Japan hand painted jug. Gosh, that's tiny. The size of that one. And a Grey Dawn Johnson Brothers with a crown. Absolutely filthy. And it's crazed to death. Crazed to death, that. And what else have we got? I have a glass jug. Nothing special in that, I don't suppose. No writing on it, or oh, no engraving, should I say. Oh, little pill box. I sold uh, a few of the little pill boxes, but I only got about a fiver for a little collection of them. And that, I can't make out, goes with something else, I'll take it. Tell you what, oh, what's this? Something broken. Somebody's wrapped in paper some little wings for something. Some little, little butterfly wings. Whether I find the rest of it in here broken, I don't know. It's just nice to make a start on these. But, oops, another bit of another bit of wing. So that's a pair of them. One of them and one of them. Cow, duck, uh, a little brass one. Um, now, this has a crown and it has uh, embossed markings. And it's absolutely filthy and it looks really really old and um, I don't know that's the sort of thing where I wish I knew it instantly uh, however it's probably not worth going down the rabbit hole for an hour um, uh, little ma wooden man absolutely horrible <laughs> some of these i've got like a little glass chicken egg cup a paperweight of royal pavilion brighton but it's all scratched at the top and another jug just from japan um, and a pig so that's all out of that one box 
Oh, another bit of another bit of wing. Bring it another box in. Oh. Oh. Right, this one's got glass, china, pewter, and all sorts in it. I think. Oh, so I better go carefully. Fluted edged glass. It's nice that because it's got the pink on the inside and then the glass. It's like an Arcopal uh, Pyrexy feel to it. So no idea, but it's pretty. Somebody might like it. Whether it's supposed to have something in there, I'm not sure. All right, now. condoning fox hunting in any way if you like it it's up to you it's not my thing however some people do collect memorabilia from the fox hunting and we've got this teapot which is English uh, and it's got something PC I don't know what the first one is something PC on the bottom and a mark and it's got the fox's head spout so Mm -hmm. And the cream jug. I think it might be PPC. It's got three dots on. I don't know what that means. A lot of crazing on it, but, uh, but no date. A Mullingar pewter. From Ireland, finest grade pewter. Don't even know what's in it. Can have a look? Oh, it's nice. Uh, just says Mulligar pewter with a picture of an owl on it. But it's never been out of there. It's got its little care. I wonder if there's a date on that. No, just how to take care of pewter. To recapture the exquisite original luster, you must, if you're a treasured uh, collector's piece, wash in hot water, liquid soap, and rinse in almost boiling water and immediately dry and polish with a soft cloth. Do not place in dishwasher. Um, Ancient craft of pewter making was revived by Mullingar Pewter in 1974. Each piece is still made in the traditional way in our workshop, but it doesn't actually date this piece. Um, but we'll keep that. Keep that and see. I don't know what it depicts actually. What does it depict? Nothing. Nothing. So we'll hang on to that one. Now I've got um, six of these and they are English pewter made in Sheffield. Um, so I've got a set of six. I don't know why the bit in the bottom rattles. Um, but I've got a set of six of those so they should wash up nicely so that's okay. Happy with that. Right, so we've got a pair of that one. Is it six? Yeah, definitely six. A tankard. It's got quite a lot of uh, marks on that. I don't know. I think it'll come off. I don't know, but it's got the fish handle and it is uh, Bridal Lane English Pewter made in Sheffield. There's no engravings on it. Uh, it was a glass bottom one. Um, I put a couple on auction before and got about five of each for them. Uh, hunting scene again. I'm guessing this is a box of stuff from the same lady's house that had the uh, hunting scene map. 
Now that shaped vase is fantastic for daffodils and stuff. You know, when you want them to splay out. That's a lovely shaped vase. It's, if it was a really nice crystal, I would have kept that, but it's a bit dull, isn't it? Just a pressed glass vase, so Jerry Shop can have that. Um, ooh, now, Moe and Shondon ice bucket. That's nice, isn't it? That would be a good um, man cave or lady cave. So I'll look that up, Moe and Shondon ice bucket. It's not a Stuart crystal or anything. Yeah, no other maker's marks or... Um, what's that say? Italy. Italy 5. That's all that says. Be careful now that it's not, there's nothing hiding in these papers. All this paper will have gone, the time I sent next parcel out. Not many people have used papers these days, do they? Um, I need a supplier. What's this? Oh. Um, what's that for? Would it have had a rose bowl thing in it, do you think? Or a candle? No, candle it has all run off. Um, I don't know. Not quite sure on that. I've got a sugar bowl and another jug for the hunt. You know I'm going to have to move this lot before I get the next lot out, can't I? Which I've got to fetch in. And the, oh, right, I think I've just found that. Those. That goes in that, I reckon. Do you think? I don't. Don't think it goes in that one. No, that's definitely in that one. So it's like a little posy, little glass posy bowl, I think. Uh, and more glasses. Okay, so I'm going to put, I've got a set of four of those. I've got four of them. We've got the teapot. Actually, I'll come off and I'll move all this lot and I'll fetch another box in. Right, excuse the arm, I think I'm back again. I've realised I've actually got four boxes, so... I'll tell you what, it's not light work this, doing china and stuff. Um, I hope the light's alright, it was flickering, I've had to turn the other lamp off. Um, you've just got a little Japanese hand-painted jug. Actually, it's beautiful work. It's transfer and then hand painted on top. It's very, very nice. That's that. Thing is, things can be nice, but if I can't identify it, now that goes with the other little tiny jug that I had, didn't it? So that's a pair. Uh, a bigger jug this time. This is a Palissy. I've actually got a Palissy uh, tea set that was which was my grandma's downstairs in the cabinet where Ulster um, is palissy with roses on uh, and my dad did me some paintings of roses from from the old china this is Shelley, Shelley's quite collectible but whether that pattern is or not I don't know that's actually cracked look it's all cracked inside that um, I've got a thistle if that was on the other side, I'd have thought it was a butter thing, but it's not. It's got the embossed or debossed, um, embossed thistle on the bottom. Um, possibly ashtray. Uh, 
another Queen Anne bone china, a uh, little sort of Chinese tea set, little tiny pot, um, this is like the Limoges style but it's not, it's not stamped at all. <coughs> So that's for my bundle. Oh, we've got the other we've got the other part of that set. I've put the sets um over here and I've got the light on them, but you're not gonna be able to see. We've ended up with one, two, three, four, five, six, eight novelty um cruet sets, plus that one which I want to look up, uh, and this, but it's got mm, I'll have to have a good look at it, it's got a bit of a crack at the bottom though. It did still work, but I'll look them up because they wouldn't. Um, those there. I think people that buy them don't use them, they just look at them. So. Um, another dish. Uh, Stuart Crystal sticker. But no... No Stuart Crystal signature. Uh, I like to see both, but whether... Oh, it sounds like it. So that might sparkle lovely when it's cleaned. I'm in two minds whether to sell all my crystal downstairs. Oh, I never use it. Now we've got a leaf of something. Uh, Bermuda pottery. Might be a handy little trinket dish for me to put my change in. In the bedroom, that. See, there's always a plus. I've wrapped this for some reason. Uh, just a little stem vase. I suppose people collect stem vases, some collect fruit sets, some collect bells, all sorts of things. Uh, oh, it's a pair, so that's nice. Uh, we've got another another set here. Trying to avoid saying what it's called. <laughs> um, oh, interesting. Now this lot, I didn't even know it was in the bottom. We have a brass key. Do you know we used to have brass keys and stuff on this wall? We were, were less chintzy now than we used to be. And massive. Oh, look at that. That is nice. That's beautiful big brass shoe horn that is lovely no um, no engravings or anything on it as far as I can see no name on the label I'll have a good look over it but I can't see anything on the back no can't see anything on there but that is really nice quite heavy that. I like that. I like it when I find the things that's a, that I wasn't expecting. Um, a chain of what could be Capo di Monte. They're all intact. Little brass hanging chain. You know, if somebody's doing up some sort of barge or something, I think these would look quite nice. Um, Capo di Monte, yeah, porcelain. FAB. <laughs> I've had a notification come up, I can't see what you're seeing. Go on, that's it. Wobble. Yeah. I'm okay, you never know something else interesting in the bottom of here. Bear with. Got another cow. Have I got another one? No. Um, and another. Ah, right. So one hole, two holes. So we've got the other half of that. I will start all these on auction at a low price. Um, but I don't start at 99p. I don't see point in packing them up at 99p. So I've got another one of those. So that'll go in the, the job lot of jugs. Now, this is what's interesting. 
Um, we've got a natural piece of wood corkscrew, interesting but not highly valuable, and a fellow. Oh no! Oh dear! Right, okay. So this is a corkscrew. Can you guess what's going to happen? Oh, it's not working. It's not working, but there you go. He's got his little, um, yeah, appendage. And it must stick on a, oh, that's a bottle opener, isn't it? Yeah. Very nice. Very nice young man. Oh dear, here's my, another one, brass, um, Bruxelles, and um, looks like he's lost his willy, honestly, things people have, I'm a bit concerned, I'm looking so closely at his willy to see what's what was on there? That's that. Right, we've got a black lid. We've got a tiny little uh, thing. Um, oh, something wrapped up. Get excited. Oh my god. Look at that. That's the top off some sort of. It's got coat around there, so it's the top off some sort of biscuit barrel thing. Which I don't actually think I've got. I've not need seen anything that big, I don't think. What's this? Uh, the Prince and Princess of Wales to commemorate the birth of their first child, Prince William of Wales, 1982. June 1982, so I hadn't realised he was, or couldn't remember, he was born the same year as my daughter. Um, but that is in nice condition. And I've uh, nearly got rid of commemorative stuff before and then sold them for seven or eight pound each. So I shall definitely be putting that on because uh, it's Prink Nash as well. Prink Nash pottery. Um, Prink Nash is the one that I found when I was looking up the brown luster wear. Um, Prink Nash pottery in England. So I think somebody might collect England, but Charles and Diana. Uh, seeing as it's so beautiful inside, I shall put that on. And not much left in here. This has got too long. Just go and have a cup of tea. Ah, oh, bells. Got a lovely crystal sound. Um. Original glue, I think. Sorry, stop, stop. Sorry, I'm sorry, that probably deafened you. Um, that's that one. And let's try and not dingle this one. Uh, I'll do dingling off camera. Yeah, lovely sound to that one as well. And yeah, exactly the same flower, but in a without the colour. Yeah, so I'll put those on as well. So I'm not doing too bad out of this. And then a, a plate, which is usually not worth anything at all. Uh, oh, Castle Howard. There you go. Who oh, don't want a plate from Castle Howard? Well, it's a Wedgwood plate from Castle Howard, no less. There's my millions there, look. Yeah, you never know. If you've got a set, you might just have this one missing. Issued in an edition of 5,000. Cost people a fortune when they bought them, now two and six. So that's that, right? I'll bring another another box in. Uh, I'll just move a few of these things and make some space. Oh, right. Oh, I've just brought another box full in and I've... Um, I got a bit waylaid <laughs> looking stuff up, but I ended up, um, I didn't even realise Bruxelles is French for Belgium. But uh, the Capine boy seems to be all over the place. Um, 
So found another pair. Oh. The vase, I think. I don't think it's anything exciting. Again, lovely shape for daffodils or tulips or something, but it's nothing. Just clunk clunk. Uh, Moulded glass. Slightly pink hue to it. Which is quite nice. Somebody might. Somebody might like it. I don't know. Uh, We've got a chef here, but I think the other half of this is broken. Have a look. Yeah, broken on his head. So that's a shame. That's a shame. Put you over there, mate. That's that. Um, I think we've got more. So we've got a water jug. It's got the sun. Bit of a crack down there. Well, it's a problem in the glaze, I think, that one. Um, yeah, PPC on this. Yeah, so I'll look those up. Interesting. Um, still not found a dish for this black lid. I have um, horse racing... Palissy, Royal Worcester Group. Lots of crazing on it. What's this rattle on? Cups. More, more hunt. No make on either. Oh, got a few of these. Oh. I didn't buy them for this particular one, really. This, it could even have been the tray that came with some of the pictures, this. What we have? Um, oh, the massive cup. The massive cup to go with that saucer. I'm interested how old it is, actually. Um, watch this, I've wrapped up very carefully. Oh, now. This, yes, this is Silvac. Got a lot of cracks down it though, but it's um, it's got a number on thirteen ninety five, so it's a wall pocket, um, or wall vase or something. Uh, but that's Silvac. If that was okay, I would have sold that. But I'll have to look up. I'm, I don't think it'll have any value with that crack in there at all. Bag full of paper now. Oh, right. So, I think what I'm going to end up doing is I've got a, the brass corkscrew, which I will probably put with. I'll probably put that together with that because that's the bottle, the bottle opener. Oh, it's got initials on the MLD. Hmm. So that's that. Uh, oh, sauces. One, two, three, four, five, six sauces. Don't think there's any chips. Nearing the bottom. Ah, oh, there's another auction on Friday. Um, so that's a pair. I've got two of those then. Of that shape, which is nice, and I think this is the last thing. So, right, so I've got a set of six of those. Um, need that light. I've got a set of six of those. In fact, if I no, that's not on, I'll lift that up. So I've ended up with not finding anything that goes under that. What a shame! I'd have been, I'd have been interested to see that. 
I might look it up and see if it's a spare lid for somebody that's lid's got broken. If it's um, what they call those big um, like cookie jars or something. I don't know. I'll, I'll look it up. That'll take me an hour. Um, and nothing for that one. Nothing for that. So that's that. Have I got anything else to show you today? No. Um, What's going to be coming next is a box of doilies and tablecloths. But um, I'll leave this one here because we're probably getting quite long now. Um, it might be a bit jumbled up because I did, I did put some. I'm not, I'm not sure what's going to be on it anyway. Um, if I've been filming and it seemed a bit morose, then I won't put it on. Um, yeah. Anyway, so I'll see you soon. Love you loads. Bye.